Hi, and this is a video. So today we're going to talk about a topic that my friend Andrea just made a video on, which you can... Oh, yeah. Ow, my boo. It's getting bigger. About character-driven stories versus plot-driven stories. And Libby and I disagree on this issue. Of course, the obvious thing is you can blend them. That's sort of the, the goal is to blend them. But it, most people, as Andrea said, tend to lean one way or the other. I love the woodpecker. No, never mind. <laughs> Expert. Well, plot-driven stories don't have to have real characters in them. They just have archetypes, you know? Do you um, think that's true? Though? Most novelists are pretty good about making real characters. But let's think about an action movie, because that's plot-driven. Yeah. So, action movies, do they have real characters? Oftentimes, no. And well, I'm not interested in watching people blow each other up. We just saw Avengers, though, and you were interested in that. I'm talking mostly short stories. Well, actually, a lot of novels I read, a lot of times, have are really character-centric. And a lot of times, nothing happens. A glimpse into a person's life, and then nothing goes on, and then it's like, all right, I that love was the last that. page, the la next page is blank. What happened? Nothing. Like, you like Raymond Carver. Love him. And that's pretty much what he does. Yes. See, I love that because you get to look into another person's life. I'm kind of, I'm nosy. If I drive by a place, I'm going to look in and see if I can see in the windows and then imagine what that family's life is like. I don't do it in a creepy, like, peeping Tom way. I do that too, but then when I look in, I'm like, oh, that's boring, nothing's happening. Nobody's having sex or fighting, so... <laughs> so far, my argument is not good. But there's a lot going on that's not action. It's about emotions, it's about the human experience, it's about how every individual person experiences the same thing but in different ways. But and that is really interesting to me. But can't you have that plus going on? A good story has interesting characters doing interesting <laughs> things. Oh, his sister died and he's trying to get over her and he's in love with this woman but she doesn't love him back and he's about to lose his job. That's interesting. A lot of that does happen in short stories. You just don't you get... You don't see it. So why are you writing it? Like, isn't the point because of writing Because it takes more skill. Oh, so you're saying that a writer who's more character driven and just implies that things are going on behind the scenes is more skillful. Maybe. But I think it's harder to tell a good plot story because if you're telling a bad plot story, it's just like an action movie where it's just like, oh no, they stole the diamonds, let's get the diamonds back. But it takes skill to make a plot that's actually unique and interesting where new things are happening okay. and there's growth in the characters. Just learning about a person who doesn't exist isn't a story. Look at that really fat robin on the fence. <laughs> What do you think of the kid? Well, make your final pitch. I feel like my arguments spoke well enough. So you just want me to put like a, a clip from before right here? Yeah, maybe show the fat Robin again. 